हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू येट अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट क्लासेस फॉर सोशोलॉजी ऑप्शनल बाय सुन आई एस एंड फ्रेंड्स टुडे गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी एक्चुअली स्टडी इन आवर थ्योरी ऑफ रिलीजन दैट हाउ द रिलीजन इवॉल्व्स इन द सोसाइटी सो देर वी स्टडी अबाउट टू इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज एनिमिज्म एज वेल एज एनिमेटिज्म एंड दिस लॉट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन अमंग द एस्पेंट बिटवीन वॉट इज एनिमिज्म एंड एनिमेटिज्म so today we'll look into both the concept in a thorough manner so that in case any question come you are able to tackle the question especially the 10 markers so let's start with the session so see as i mentioned earlier these you know small small concepts animism animatism and for that matter various other concepts just like naturism then fetishism then monism pluralism pantheism these are all the concepts that are basically related with the types of religious practices okay so here today we going to deal with only two concept that is animism and animatism if you want to know more about what is naturism fetishism then monism pluralism and pantheism you can actually join the uh, you know sociology foundation course offers by, uh, offered by the shun is <coughs> where we'll be talking about in detail with respect to all these concepts okay now here let's start with the session and let's talk about both the concepts in a detailed manner so the first concept is animism so if you see animism this is actually the term that has been coined by a very renowned anthropologist that is edward burnett tyler and he coined this terminology in his famous book that is primitive culture in 1875 now as i mentioned earlier that both these terminologies are basically associated with how the religion evolved in the uh, you know society so through animism eb tyler was basically saying that it was the first ever religion that came into existence first ever religion that came into existence so basically this religion is the first religion and it is present in the primitive society which is also known you can also call it as simple society okay now let's look into further details this word animism has been derived from the word derived from the latin word called anima which basically means soul or spirit okay so eb tyler was trying to talk about the origin of the religion in terms of soul okay or in terms of spirit so this animism is also known as the soul theory i'll just delete everything this is also known as the soul theory okay soul is also known as spirit now further detail you can talk about is that uh, you know the primitive society where the people were in the very primitive state of living okay in that uh, primitive society what happened uh, you know there was a difference they were trying to differentiate between the living and the dead and those people were differentiating between the living and the dead in terms of soul or spirit it is soul or spirit okay and eb tyler further says that primitive people might have different kind of experiences okay when they have different kind of experiences so they might have interpreted in their own way like they have they must have an experience of you can say death then disease then various kind of dreams so when they have this experience when they had this experience they might have interpreted in terms of that is a presence of some kind of supernatural entity supernatural entity which is a kind of spirit or soul okay and further 
during night when a person dreams so what happened the soul leaves the body soul leaves the body temporarily okay and while you know uh, when a person is dead the primitive people might have interpreted it that the soul has permanently left the body soul left the body permanently okay this is how eb tyler was basically you know um, uh, uh, interpreting everything that how the primitive people might have experienced different events like death disease dreams and how they might have interpreted everything in terms of spirit only okay including the fact that they made a difference between living and dead in terms of spirit and also during night that body leaves the soul uh, you know the soul leaves the body temporary and during the when the person is dead the soul leave the body permanently okay this was a basic thing apart from that thing the primitive people might have also associated this soul or spirit not only with humans but also with other living creatures just like you know other animals you can talk about cow sheep okay goat apart from living creatures also other inanimate objects so when they started associating soul with other animate and in animate objects in animate you can talk about like trees caves rivers mountains and all those things so these primitive people might have interpreted the fact that soul or the spirit is present everywhere okay soul or spirit is present everywhere so animism in a nutshell you know they started believing in the spirit first of all and they started you know uh, you can say worshiping of the spiritual being so this is how you can talk about in a simple language that animism is all about belief and worship of these spirits okay belief as well as the worship of these spirits okay and these spirits as the society evolved these spirits took the form of god and god basically you know just like today we have uh, you know shiv god we have brahma god so later on in the you uh, know as the society evolved they took the form of god and god who has the power to control the destiny of the human beings okay so this is how animism came into existence and ev all the kit goes to the eb tyler because he came up with this concept and here I'll just give one example also. That remember, first thing before I give you an example, that animism is always related with spirits or the soul. That is why it is also called soul theory. Okay, and every different object possesses different kind of spirits. Just like one kind of spirit will be inhabiting, uh, might be possessing uh, the trees. Different kind of spirit might be there in the caves or the mountains. Okay. so different kind of spirits are there so now here i'm giving, uh, giving an example like there is a korwa tribe that is present uh, you know geographically if you see on the border of jharkhand and chatisgarh there they believe that there is a two kind of spirit one is benevolent and other one is malevolent okay benevolent and malevolent benevolent basically are the spirits who are basically harmless they do not harm anyone so basically they are friendly so thus they are not worshiped okay while malevolent basically are the spirits who are basically evil they harm the human beings so out of sheer f uh, you know out of sheer fear because of fear only they are being worshiped by the primitive people worshiped by the primitive people 
so even today this practice is existing now see that this korva tribe which still practices animism because they believe there is a malevolent spirit uh, spirit so what happened you can see that animism is still exist in our society okay because korva tribe is a primitive society is a kind of a primitive tribe it symbolizes primitive society okay or very simple society so this is about the animism now let's talk about the animatism now this terminology was coined by yet another very renowned anthropologist that is robert ranulf merit okay r r merit a very renowned anthropologist and he coined this term in his very famous book that is theory of origin of religious beliefs okay theory of origin of religious beliefs theory of origin of religious beliefs in 1900 so animatism term was coined by eb tally in 1875 this term was basically coined by uh, r r merit in 1900 a very yet another very uh, you know renowned anthropologist now while talking about animatism r r merit basically says and he in turn modified the theory given by eb tyler because he says that it is not animism that actually uh, you know uh, signifies the origin of religion rather before animism there was the presence of animatism so animatism is also sometimes known as pre animism so it is a kind of a you can say modified version of animism <coughs> okay and how like uh, first he said that animatism existed before animism he like i'll talk about how further it has been modified i'll talk about further modification also now here while talking about animatism what happened he says that animatism is nothing but it is a belief that all the animate as well as inanimate object is endowed with only one supernatural force or power that influences the life of the human being so here i'll just write it down that animatism basically means what that all animate and inanimate objects are endowed with only one super supernatural force or power now in animism i was talking about that different spirits possess different object here i am talking about the fact i am not using the word you know spirit i am just talking about one supernatural force okay do not use the word spirit or soul in animatism that will make the theory completely wrong it is a some kind of a supernatural force okay and there is only one supernatural force that you know is present everywhere okay it is present in every object whether it is animate or inanimate so this is the essence of you can talk about uh, you know animatism and you know uh, rr merit basically found that where this animatism basically is present he found this concept of animatism among the melanesian tribe or you can also say polynesian tribe that is present in pacific island and here while talking about this one supernatural force <coughs> he introduced the concept of mana and this mana symbolizes what it symbolizes power success and strength so sometimes this animatism is also known as manaism or pre animism 
okay mana basically symbolizes power success and strength so basically these uh, melanesian tribal people they basically talks about you know that uh, supernatural force may have lower mana or it may have higher mana okay and the same concept of mana is also found among one of the very you know famous uh, indian tribe that is munda tribe munda tribe and there they have similar to mana they have a concept of bonga so you can also say that animatism manaism or bongaism also so suppose uh, you know how they will interpret how the tribals will interpret suppose they see a cycle and it is running right with the human labor it is actually you know moving forward so it is have a you can say a certain degree of mana okay or bonga also you can write now if they see steam engine that uh, you know that has higher uh, you know power or higher force so the tribal people will say that is it has a greater mana or greater bonga and if they see the airplane what they'll say that it has the highest mana or bonga right so this is how the you know uh, animism and animatism should be you know written or understood so overall i have talked about you know in a very simple language what is animism what is animatism remember one thing always that animism is basically dealing with spirits different object is basically possessed by different kind of spirits here there is only one supernatural force there is no spirit right and that supernatural force has certain degree of mana okay and that mana is basically you know categorized just like this is cycle steam engine and airplane so this is how you can differentiate things right and here also while talking about uh, you know animatism or animism if a question comes so please make sure that you do quote the anthropologist name with uh, you know related with animism or animatism here you should quote eb tyler famous book is primitive culture here the book uh, the uh, famous anthropologist name is uh, robert randolph marrett and the uh, name of the book is the origin of uh, theory of origin of religious beliefs okay so that will make your answer very much you know enriched with respect to the other aspirant right so now this marks the end of the session now if you want to know more about various kind of religious practices just like i talked i showed you the slide earlier naturalism or for that matter pluralism pantheism monism okay or fetishism so all those things i have taught very you know in a precise and in a very detailed manner in a simple language in our sociology foundation course that you can join we are providing this sociology foundation course in a very very reasonable price okay so thank you all the best